name is Ming Chi Li, a PhD student from Southeast University, and my supervisor is Professor Hui Su Chen. Today, the topic of my presentation is the effect of the poor sheep and polydispersity on the population and the diffusivity of cross conferences. As shown in this picture, my presentation will include seven parts. First, the background of our research. Second, a theoretical framework including generalized effective DM theory and the average excluded rare formula is proposed to predict the diffusivity. Third, we introduce how to obtain the average excluded array. Fourth, the population threshold of cross conferences. Fifth, the finite difference model is employed to numerically study the diffusivity. In the last two parts, we show the numerical and theoretical results and give some conclusions. First, I would like to introduce the background of our research. In the engineering, the pros concrete are often exposed to harsh environments and the aggressive deal will penetrate into the pros compasses through the connected pros networks. Therefore, the durability of pros compasses depends on the microstructure. These two figures compare the ironic diffusivity of two samples with simple porosity but different microstructures. It can be seen that the ions will rapidly penetrate into the system via the pros canal in the percolated sample. However, for the depercolation sample, the ion transport rate is much slower. From these two figures, we know the influence of the microstructure on the macroscopic properties. Further, the microstructure of two phase pros composites is closely related to the pores component, such as the pore shape and the shape part dispersity. Therefore, the purpose of this research is to quantitatively measure the effects of the pore component on the microstructure and the macro properties. Okay, next part, I would like to introduce how to predict the diffusivity of cross compasses by our proposed theoretical framework. In statistical physics, the population threshold phi c is usually used to characterize the critical state of the emergency of the system spanning pores. Based on the generalized effective modem theory, we can establish the quantitative relationship between the microstructure that is the population threshold and the macro properties. Then, according to the concept of the excluded area pores, that is the area where one particle cannot contact with another particle, an average excluded area formula is proposed to predict the influence of the pore shape and the shape part dispersity on the population threshold. Finally, by combining with uh, by combining with the average excluded area formula with the generalized effective medium theory, we can reveal the relationship between the component microstructure and the macro properties of cross compasses. In the theoretical framework, the average excluded area is very important. Therefore, in the third part we will introduce how to obtain the excluded area. In the fourth part, simulated population threshold is shown. In this research, a super oval particle which includes concave particles, circle, square, triangle, and some other shaped particles is employed to model the pores. The expression formula of super oval can be seen here, where m is the squareness exponent and t is the tapering parameter. 
Here, a Monte Carlo simulation method is employed to obtain the excluded area of two pores. And the step is, first, particle I is placed in the center of the window, and then random generates a large number of particle G. Once the number of particle G contacts with particle I, that is NC is determined. The excluded area can be calculated by substituting NC and NG in this formula. To obtain the population threshold of cross composites, we calculate the variation of population probability with porosity. Then, the simulated population threshold is obtained by a fin size scaling method. Then, we compare the simulated population threshold with that theoretical results from average excluded area formula. It can be seen that for the systems comprising concurrent pores, the simulated phase are in well agreement with that theoretical values, where the maximum relative error is 1.67%. The population threshold of binary and triple super systems are also investigated. It can be seen that relative error between simulated and theoretic phase in binary super system is 0.8% and is 0.44% in triple super systems, which verifies the reliability of the average is through the area formula. By substituting the average excluded area formula into generalized effective medium theory, we can theoretically predict the diffusivity. However, the reliability of the theoretical diffusivity is still unknown. Therefore, we here employ a fin difference model to numerically measure the diffusivity. In the fit difference model, the governing equation is the fixed second law. The top and the bottom boundaries are set as new map boundary conditions. The left and the right boundaries are set as direct left boundary conditions. The initial concentration is zero for all samples and the explicit difference is implied here. Finally, we analyze, uh, we analyze the theoretic and the numerical results and then gives our conclusions. In this figure, we can see that the theoretic diffusivities are in well agreement with the numerical results, which verifies the reliability our theoretical framework to predict the effect of the pores com component on the diffusivity. Moreover, the results show that with the increase of the circularity of pores, the threshold 5C on compasses increase and its diffusi uh, diffusivity decrease. Furthermore, we propose a linear superposition to predict the Population threshold and the diffusivity. It can be found that the linear superposition is basically in well, uh, is basically in agreement with the theoretical results, which verifies the reliability of linear superposition. Now we come to the last part, conclusion. In this research, we proposed a theoretical framework predict the diffusivity of the compasses, and the reliability of the framework is verified by comparing with numerical results uh, from the fin difference method. With the increase of circularity of pores, the population threshold 5C of compasses increase and its diffusivity decrease. For the compasses, including polydispersed shaped pores, the effect of the polydispersity can be approximately assessed 
by a linear superposition principle. That's all. Thank you very much.